your VO2 max is going to decline as you age, but the things that you want to be able to do will not change in their oxygen requirements. But I think, honestly, this is one of those things where it might just be easiest to kind of show you a figure of, of how we do this with patients. And we customize this to their information, right? So on the x-axis, we've got their age. So I'm showing you an example for somebody at 50 years of age. On the y-axis, you have VO2. What we plug on here is their VO2 max. So this might be a 50-year-old with a VO2 max of 40. Uh, which I think is going to place them at about the 75th percentile. So they're just barely into that top quartile. And what we're showing them is the mathematically modeled rate of decline with consistent training. Now, again, if you increase your training, you can change the slope of this. And of course, if you have an injury and you stop training, it's going to accelerate more. So this is kind of what we would call the baseline rate of decline. And what we then show on the right here is all of the different activities that they've told us they want to be able to do um, as they age. And what we're basically showing them is the age at which those things will begin to go away. What we then overlay on this graph is, hey, if you want more juice here, let's get your VO2 max from 40 up to 50 which will take us a year, maybe 18 months, but it's 100% achievable. And now look at how that changes the arc of your life. Look at what that does to extend your ability to do things over time. We have a very high bar for our patients. The bare minimum threshold um, is to be in the top quartile for your age and sex. But very quickly, we're gonna try to get you up into the top one to two percent of your age and for the really ambitious patients we want you to be in that category for somebody two decades younger and by our calculations if you're in the top one to two percent of somebody two decades younger you can have as ambitious a set of dreams as you want for activity and you're going to be fine into your 90s